somewhere downtown on Baker Street. Where I'm going, I don't know. Hope it's warm and sunny. Hope there's lots of money and lots of friends. Rains all night, runs all day. Everybody likes to play. Here we are downtown Baker Street. And the cat is patiently waiting for what I don't know. So we've stopped in at a place called Jackson's Hole for lunch. Well, I just had a delicious salmon burger. I should have taken a picture before I ate it, but I guess I was hungry. Anyhow, it was really good. Well, we've had a very satisfying lunch, and now we're headed for Caslow. We're just walking to the car in downtown Nelson. Away we go. So what is the actual name of that orange bridge? Bob. Big orange bridge. <laughs> something about steam yeah old but, kind of steam engines that are uh, you know still running well that sounds like fun you mentioned um, a stern wheeler there um, what it what about that what's it called again that the moy or something yeah I'm looking forward to seeing that it's called the moy uh, it's one of the old ships that used to uh, bring people and cargo around the lake before the the road that we're on was built so, uh, when would that have operated? Um, back in you know, the late 18, kind of 90s, up. Yeah, we'll, f we'll find out for sure when we get there, but it may have been as late as the 1950s, 60s, somewhere in there. Well, that sounds very interesting. Extremely windy. We're passing through Ainsworth, home of the hot springs. Caslow is a little community of about 1,500 and we've had a tremendously hard time to find a parking spot because this is their annual May Day's celebration. Well, there's uh, some kind of a music thing happening. Also a car alarm going off. Everybody that is there has been here and they think that 
that is why they are there. These are songs born here, raised here, and probably going to die here. On Ghost Town. <laughs> probably do you on Ghost Town Records. Son, you be a good boy and you make me proud of you. That that very soon that being good wasn't the thing to do because if you are a good boy, there ain't no bad girls for you now. So here's a fun fact about the Goonies. Blue hoops have never gone out of style. She's all talking to me. She said, honey, listen here. You gotta be a good boy, it's fine. Better come on. That's group, that group's name is Ritalica. And uh, they're gonna let uh, me use their, uh, that last song as an outro. <laughs> And you uh, you go to quite a few of these community events, do you? Yeah, I mean, I shoot kind of everything. This is a very new setup. This is a uh, yeah, photo booth that I'm going to do at festivals over the summer. Uh, yeah. But uh, I also, I mean, I shoot do portraiture and real estate and sports and music and, and everything, really. So, yeah. Oh, well, thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. What was your name? Hi, I'm George McQuaig, and the song that you just uh, listened to, you might want to use, is These Are the Good Old Days. And um, the old cover tune? We're called Mountain Weather. <laughs> I thought I should mention it. <laughs> From Caslo. <laughs> We're running down the mountainside, washing all the ice and snow of winter time away. Mountainside, washing all the ice and snow inside my soul. And I'll tell you what, let's do it now. Let's all put our hands together. Let's start putting our hands together. We're going to start off with a little bit of a light golf clap. Come on, help me out on no, this. No. That's it. On two, we're going to boot it up now. Boot it up. Da, 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 da. And on three, let's make seven. Two. Heat one. It's time to turn up the heat. Position one, heat one. Carly Flanagan. You'll be racing against the American Emily Groppo from Missoula, Montana. Competitors ready. One, two, go. Here we go. Come on, guys. Whoa! Here we go. Around they go. Quick set. Here's what's required. Clean set of heels. Emily, she's a fantastic seal of the choker. Off she goes, Carly. Where did she come from? Woo! 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 As quick as that! 
Sam Cleary ready to roll. Check the runners. Stand to your logs. Timer's ready. Competitors ready. One, two, go. Out of the box they go. Like the athletes they are. Erin Lavoy, quick to turn. Andrea right on her heels. She looks over her shoulder. Oh, it's going to be a good set. She's gone. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Good round. No. Gonna break that old boiled eggs. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> I'm roughly in the center of downtown Caslow. Small community, but lots of people, lots of spirit. Everybody having a great time today. Beautiful Caslo. A couple of interesting looking churches. Apparently I am mistaken. This is not a church, it is the uh, public library. So I guess these old buildings get recycled to different uses. Like what oh, am I, talking to? I do a daily vlog on YouTube. My name is Fred Spencer. I'm fairly well known on YouTube. Okay. Um, and my vlog is called My Strange Life. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> so, um, how did you get into this business? Okay, um, with worm composting, I've been doing it for about eight years now. It was uh, quite difficult. Um, fun but difficult and some of the issues you come up with when you're working with plastic bins and different plastic stacking and then I come up with a, a breathable worm hut that solved all the problems you feed in through the top there's tons of air circulation and the worm compost comes out the bottom so it's easy peasy people love it it's simple indoors no smell no mess does not attract outdoor wildlife and uh, they eat all my paper, my cardboard, my dryer lint, all my fruits and vegetables, no meat, no dairy, um, but all my cardboard and everything. And I now throw away one bag of garbage a week and I love it. And I'm out here to tell and teach everybody I can about saving the wildlife and uh, the worm, vermi compost that they give you is actually got a billion beneficial microbes in it in every tablespoon so it's the richest most um, environmentally friendly product you can give your plants the plants grow five times bigger bigger blossoms bigger structure and it's all free because it comes from my garbage so where do you sell these usually just at, at uh, public events like this fairs uh, mar yes, markets and, uh, I'm in the process. My website is currently down because I've changed vendors and I'm redesigning it. But through the website, through word of mouth is the biggest thing and at different fairs, Baines Lake Farmers Market, um, different fairs, markets, that sort of thing. What would Around be, the Kootenays. What would be the name of your website once it gets going? Kootenay Worm Composting. Great. Kootenay Worm Composting. Well, thank you very much. You're
You're welcome. Susan Panelik's my name and composting is uh, my game. Your game, right on. Thank you. <laughs> it sounds great. I just want him trying to take your picture. Where'd he go? I missed that. Well, I just missed these ravens fighting. It's pretty dramatic. Of course, when I got the camera out, they kind of flew off and separated. And here's an old stern wheeler that's been converted into a house. And it's for sale. I've heard it's in the $800,000 range, but I don't really know that for sure. And it's looking out over its old home, Kootenai Lake. That's my vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. I always enjoy uh, reading your comments and respond to as many as I can. Please like my video. Please share it. And if you're new to my videos, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. days of our lives now. These are the good old days of our lives. These are the good old days of our lives now. Right here, right now, with you. Right here, right now, with you. Go by like a tear down a cheek. Decades pass and it feels like a week. Time speeds up and my body slows down. Somehow it all keeps going around. All oh, the good old days of our lives now. These are the good old days of our lives. These are the good old days of our lives now, right here, right now, with you, right here, right now, with you.